Hello YouTube, this is Garrowin again, just making a, another video for those of you that are subscribed to me. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to calibrate the standing wave on your CB uh, radio. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using my Cobra 148 GTL. And like I said, some of you may have seen this already, but if you haven't, I'm making this for the guys that are subscribed to me but don't know how this works. Now, just so you know uh, what standing wave is, standing wave is uh, basically a measurement of how much of your signal strength is being sent back to the radio. So a lower reading is better because that means more of your signal is actually escaping out of the antenna into the air instead of actually bouncing back to the radio. Uh, so you can uh, now not all radios have built-in standing wave meters. Uh, the 148 does, and you can see here it's got SRF, which is where you would normally operate the radio, calibrate, and SWR. Uh, and you can see over here that it has standing wave reading uh, meter on top. Uh, it's got three different lines. One's for standing wave, one's for RF strength, your output, and the bottom one is for signal strength to measure incoming signal strength. So what we're going to look at is if you see on the top line here where it says SWR, one, two, three, and then over here on the far right it has CAL with a little arrow pointing to a notch in this line. What we first have to do is we have to uh, Let's set it to the channel that you're going to use most. So there's some guys on channel 3, so I'm going to flip up to channel 10. Uh, and uh, we're going to flip the switch here down to Cal. Now I'm going to intentionally uh, screw it up just so we can see. But you see here there's a knob labeled SWR. It's this back one on, the, on this radio. All right, and when you key down and you hold the key, you'll see that needle jump. What you want to do is you want to hold down your key but uh, you want to uh, I'll try to do this all with one hand here if I can you want to hold down your mic button on your hand mic so that the needle jumps and then you want to turn the standing wave knob you want to turn this while you're holding down the button you gotta turn the standing wave knob until the needle reaches that little tick mark uh, under the word cow so let's get that up there real quick. Now try to be quiet when you're doing that step because when you're speaking it will still affect the needle and cause the needle to move a little bit. And also uh, the temperature of your radio and your antenna and your coax will affect your stand away. So if we calibrate this radio right now where it's been on for a few minutes and it's kind of warm and then we turn it off all night, let it sit and get cool and then turn it on, uh, we might get a slightly different reading. It won't be drastically different but it might be a little bit different. So now that we've calibrated it, we're going to set this switch down to SWR. And in this position, when you hold down on the key button, the needle will jump and mark an indicator or, or uh, uh, and basically in this when the switch is in SWR mode when you key down on your hand mic the needle is going to give you a readout of your standing wave so you can see that with this antenna I've got like basically none it moves a little bit now uh, if your needle jumps say to I would say at two. You need to start looking at your connections. Uh, there's something wrong somewhere. You've got a kink in your wire. You've got a bad connector. Uh, you're, there's something somewhere that's causing an, un uh, an unusual amount of the signal to be sent back to the radio instead of actually uh, being transmitted into the air. So now that we've calibrated it, we know the standing wave is pretty low. We just put this back on SRF and now we're ready to transmit. Now when you're calibrating and doing your standing wave when you key down it's still going to transmit that signal. So be aware of that. So if you want to calibrate your standing wave but there's people on the channel that you normally use uh, you might want to go one channel up or down because it's not going to affect that much uh, affect your reading that much. Now 
let's say I just calibrated this one for channel 10. If we go to channel 40 and we just do a, a, a stand and wave reading here, you'll notice the stand and wave is a little bit higher. That's because that antenna is tuned to the middle of the CB radio frequency band. So let's say that you know you're going to be spending the majority of your time on channel 40 and you want to get optimum performance on channel 40. Uh, number one, you need a tunable antenna and you tune your antenna in combination with doing stand and wave checks on your radio until you get your stand and wave as low as you can get it on the channel that you're going to be using most often. Now, generally speaking, I stay on the low numbered channels, so I just calibrate it for, say, channel 10 because that's where most of my family stays at when we're talking, and uh, and call it good. Uh, now, they do sell standalone standing wave meters for CB radios. If your radio does not have a, a, a one built in, you can buy a device uh, that basically goes between the radio. Uh, hooks into the back of the radio, then you hook the coax into the meter, and that'll give you stand and wave readings. Uh, but if you've got one built into your radio, that's how you use it. Uh, so yeah, this is Gary One. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or suggestions for future videos, just uh, leave a comment below and I'll respond as necessary. Y'all have a good one.